Hello, my name is Mark Gainey. I'm the subject leader for history here at Barton Perville Sixon College, and alongside four other members of staff, teach up to 400 students A-level history. So to study history here at the college, the stipulation is that you must have passed your English GCSE from a grade four or above. And this alongside four other good passes, a grade four or above. Now for A-level history, there is two courses you can take. We call these Route A and Route B. So Route A is concerned with studying uh, the Russian Revolution right through to the rule of Stalin. So this is 1917 to 1953. This is alongside the Tudors, so studying Henry VII right through to Elizabeth I. Route B is concerned with studying Germany from 1871 right through to 1991. So looking at the First World War, the rule of the Nazis, Second World War, the Cold War and the unification of East and West Germany in 1991. This is alongside study in Britain. So this is in the post-war years from 1951 right through to the rule of Tony Blair in 2007. So these are the examines components of the course. They are worth 40% each, but each exam that you take. The other 20% is made up of coursework. Now for the coursework, for Route A, we offer American civil rights from the Civil War period of 1865 right through to the assassination of Martin Luther King. Whereas for Route B, we offer the Crusades. So this is medieval history. So this is looking at 11th century and 12th century. So a nice contrast to the modern history course that you're taking. So this is a four and a half thousand word assignment. And if you don't like the sound of those courseworks, you can always choose your own. Now for this, the rule is you must choose a 100, 100 year time period to study. And your question needs to be approved by the exam board, but your teacher will help you with that. So if you haven't already logged on to the Google Classroom for the respected course, the Route A or the Route B, I thoroughly re recommend that you do so, because you'll get a good insight into what these courses are all about. When you study history, we also like to give you an experience outside of the classroom. So we're very heavily involved with field trips. So for this, we offer an end of the year residential. So in the past, we've gone to Berlin, we've gone to Madrid, we've gone to Rome. And we've also been involved with other departments for a trip to USA. We also have good relationship with the local universities, most especially Southampton and Winchester, and also Royal Holloway University, where we have uh, different professors come to visit us to deliver specialist lectures. We also have other trips, including lecture tours in London. So if this all sounds very interesting to you, okay, sign up to History on Enrollment Day. I look forward to uh, seeing you. And if you have any further questions, just contact me through the Google Classroom. Thank you very much.